the bounty hunters are here. Let's go, Axe. That was pretty easy. Alien isolation all over again. Is this a cupboard we can hide in? No, they're not paying you anything now, love, because you're dead. We're going to get onto that ship and we are going to kill them. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> It's continuity, all right, monument? It's just continuity. I've got the wrong hair thing in. Just give me a sec. So if you were watching uh, part one, where we first made our way into the universe of Starfield, I'm afraid you're probably gonna be disappointed. We certainly were. It was, it was, in retrospect, completely unplayable. It was awful. And, and it wasn't a cheap game for the premium edition early access, as in a few days. How's that? And it turns out that we had it on the um, we had it on the wrong drive. Yes, I know. I didn't read the requirements. Apparently, on Steam, the system requirements detail they include the recommendation that the game should be preloaded or loaded, installed, onto an SSD drive. So anyway, where we left off was that we did the opening sequence. We've got the background. Uh, you can you can scan through. I've, I've added chapter. We've added chapters in, haven't we, Mon Monument? So our first mission is about to start. We had our battle and then our helpful robot Vasco, who is a take him or leave him kind of character, said that we need now to go to, uh, what's it called? Crete. Crete's a little moon, and we are to take down the pirate base. And that is where you will find us as we, uh, as we get into this. I'm excited. This is Vasco, by the way. Vasco. Vasco, meet everybody. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. This is just for you guys. And for me. Constellation is an explorer's society founded oh. over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Yeah, the, this, this is weird, right? Why is Barrett trusting me with his ship again? If you scan through the, uh, if you scan through part one, you will get to that point where Barrett gives me his ship, and I am moaning about the fact that it all seems a little bit rushed. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. I always thought Vasco was a bit of a twat. I don't want to trade any gear because I don't really have any. And I'm not really, I don't really care about Barrett. But, so this Constellation thing is an explorer society. It feels a little bit Harry Potter. Anyway, let's go and kill some pirates. Let's have a quick look around here, I think, just to see if there's any gear. 
Apparently this game is a... Is a loot... That's a big jump. That's a big jump. <laughs> it's a looter's heaven, apparently. I'm just seeing if there's like a secret... Oh, there, there may be a secret entrance. Maybe not. So, Monument, technically we could just go off, theoretically, anywhere here, but I have a feeling that the early... This is a very early mission. We need to do it because we might get some stuff that's useful, right? I do just want to go off. Just do side missions. Just basically live in this world. Oh, we've already out. What does that do? No, 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 we want to open. We're going to open. Thank you. Ooh. How do we turn off? I don't have to turn off. These are United Colonies markings, but we I don't have to turn off this torch. Space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret ah. facility. United Colonies facility. Loot Snee. Bit of loot. Oh, hang on, did we pick it up? E e no, I don't want a chair. Yeah, we did. I think they definitely want us to know that it, there's something ominous going on with the with the. Uh, oh, oh, what's that? It's a creature. Oh, hang on, we need to scan that. It's a heat leech. Oh, it doesn't say anything else. It just says heat leech. Got it. I got some nutrient from that's our that's our first alien. That's our first alien life form. A heat leech. No, don't want a document tray. I do want that. Genetic samples. You never know, do you? Gra graduated cylinder. Ah, it's just junk, isn't it? We have to be careful, don't we, not to um, overload ourselves, I'm sure, in games like this. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Digipix. Digipix. Sounds a lot like Lockpix. I'm literally looking for uh, bounties. Do you think this is a bounty board? The bounty hunters are here. I'm being very specific about what I pick up. We might need a ratchet as a weapon. Maybe you never know. You never know. No. What is in the cupboard? We are in look for shit mode right now. Uh, pirates. Love that. Look, pirate. Oh, there's. 
I don't know if you guys remember uh, the PS4 version of uh, ooh, of Alien Isolation. The mic, the microphone, I think, in the head, in the uh, in the controller would pick up your voice or any noise that was too loud and attract the alien. Monument, I think we need to do an Alien Isolation video. I tried to play that stuff on um, using the the virtual the the VR mod, which was very good for a for a mod, and pretty much the scariest thing I've ever played, I have to say. Never finished it. I'm about a third of the way through Alien Isolate. Is it a third? Yes. Yeah, no. There's no need to say that. Anyway, we need to do we need to do a thing on that, don't we? Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting it's just this game has a similar vibe, sort of aesthetic. Certainly within here, anyway. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, there's people moving. What we got? Oh, we just got... We haven't got any other weapons yet. Let's use this. Where is he? Headshot. Hey. He's down. Oh. <laughs> well, that that was pretty easy. <laughs> hey, we've got some guns now. Let's see what we can do. Cut. New items. Maelstrom. Gun. Uh, let's put that in. There. Nice. Ratchet. What's a ra uh, rescue axe? Ooh. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Oof. Okay. Oh, hang on. I think we got something else. Bow chicka bow. Uh, Aeon. What's that? Well, let's let's just put them all in. So if we favorite it, see monument. I've done my research. Favorite the gun that you are um, wanting to put in your quick selection. Got anything else? No, I think we're there. Got loads of ammo. Uh, uh, uh. No. Okay. Let's go axe. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go axe. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Hang on. The Terramorph? Oh, shh. What? Alien isolation all over again. Is this a cupboard we can hide in? Ah! I want that. I don't want that. Oh. Honestly, Alien... I'm talking about the wrong video game, but Alien Isolation in terms of a... a game about being in space in a place you don't want to be. It's freaking amazing. Okay, okay. You guys see that? Oh, okay, so I get, I get it. There are spaces, and we've got a map. No, because we've got that other two, haven't we? What about if we use that? Ah, I got it. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm a master. Oh. Hmm. The thought plickens. No, because there's a two there. 
Oh, bollocks. This isn't going to work, is it? Oh, might do. Yeah, yes! What did I get? What did I get? 479 credits. Nice. Oh, an immobilizer. Oh. Loads of things. A neurodyne. Okay, we need to we need to equip that. Ha <laughs> ha, that was really satisfying. Okay, okay. Um, so let's go to inventory. And we'll find that. Aid. Okay. Med pack. Let's let's favourite that. And put it there. Okay, that'll do for now, okay. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. All right. Will that burst if I hit it with the axe? Exterior damaged. What are you going to do, Vasco? Well, I am programmed for combat. It is not oh. my primary. Okay, I feel a bit, feel a bit guilty. What's that poster? The Silence of Sand. Somebody came up with this, right? This little graphic here, this little idea of a meta. It's a meta, isn't it? It's a meta poster. The Silence of Sand. <laughs> Classic. Someone in the, uh, in the art department, probably, feeling like they needed to contribute a bit more. Let's get that. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. All right, we need to go on. Come on. Get back in axe mode. All right. Ooh, let's get it. Down in two. No, they're not paying you anything now, love, because you're dead. Oh, I've got a Grendel. Hang on. <laughs> Ooh. Um there. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking we should save. We should definitely save, although I have to say, not very challenging yet, but it's fun. It's it's so fun to be playing this without any Lag. Oh! I love NPC um, comments. Mate. I believe we are no longer alone. No! Okay. Use the health. Yes. I am not picking up the enemy on my scanner. So much loot. I have to say, the music is strident. It's like, I just killed two people with an axe. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's see. Da, da, da. Whoa. Looks like someone's trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Broken sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. I bet it's one of those games where there's a massive difficulty spike <laughs> at the moment. It's so easy. Let's just see if we can sneak up. What do you think, Monument? What? Oh, they're up there. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks to it. Whoa. They'll come down now. Come on. Come down. If you... Oh. Oh, he's thick. Oh, he exploded! And now there isn't any bits to 
<laughs> Where did he end up? Ooh. Dead scientist. Alert. The enemy has returned. Peace is no longer a viable option. That's fine. Go, go, go. Say hello to Johnny. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's I think that guy had the totally wrong idea. He actually thought we were winning. This is definitely a training mission, isn't it? Got some stuff. Ooh, need one of those. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm Come not on. Sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> So there's a, a something called, uh, conveniently, a Terramorph. The Terramorph is loose. Who wants to play a game where there's a Terramorph loose? Oh, come on, the music too. It was like that in a... Honestly, if you've not played Alien Isol... All right, Monument. If you've not played Alien Isolation, you need to go there. You may have noticed I've set the film grain to zero because I wanted shiny, shiny. Come on, we don't need noises like that. And we're not going, we're meant to be going this way. We're being idiots. I'm being an idiot. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever ah! is oh, you... you had some and a disregard for personal property rights. I literally jumped out of my own ass then. <laughs> Alright, we're going again, novice. Have I got any? Oh, I've got them, yeah. Okay. I'm getting casually casual, aren't I? So if we do that... No, that's not it. Could be that. Yes, it is! Ah. Com relay credits. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited at t 31 frames a second. That's the other thing. There's, there's no way that you can cap the frame rate on this game. The, the uh, graphics settings seem a little limited. That said, maybe there's a reason for this. Now that we've loaded it onto the SSD, moved it from the initial install, it's working a little bit like a dream. A dream monument. Like a dream. Loads of stuff. Okay, so look, loads of stuff. I'm going to save here, okay? I am going to save. Something's going to happen. Okay. All saved. Are we going are we going out there um Are we going out there with the axe? Vask, Vasco, what do you think? Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge 
with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing. We're heading in. Vasco, I don't care what you say. Let's just see what's on the other side of this door. I'm just bloody well going for it with my... Whoa! Okay. Oh. We've got a dialogue issue. Okay, we've got some choices. And maybe a, a choice of accents. I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Or I could lie, apparently. That's right. They killed Barrett. So tell your pirate freaks to back off. Or enough talk. I have places to be. And the last one, I don't care. I think we'll go enough talk. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh. Jump! Yeah, baby! Oh, shit. Barra's dead. Where are the other guys? Yeah, it does. Loads of... Okay. I'm going on that ship. Yeah. We're gonna get onto that ship and we are gonna kill them. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, baby. I'm staying on the ship. Get up there. Come on. I can't take over the ship. That's really what I wanted to do. Oh. Vasco's in trouble. Where's the level two guy? Oh, come on. What a sweet. Like, I, I got on the ship. And then I could not get in, I, I guess. Okay, they're locked. Vasco, come on. I'm a little bit let down by that. Now I'm gonna have to take it out on this guy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Vasco, hurry up. I'm in a bad mood. Couldn't get, couldn't take over the ship. I wonder if you can. I wonder if you can take over ships. That would be cool. Oh, you ran out of O2. What happens if I keep going? Am I going to die? Oh. It's like killing ducks. We have to kill ducks sometimes at Dilbury Towers. We have a number of Muscovies. Only when they're, like, not very well, though. <laughs> the, the, those guys there, were, they weren't very well, okay? That's what it was. Sweetness. Let's take that. I just want to go to the cockpit, right? This is the what. Jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Okay. So I, I got in the cockpit because, in the vain hope that I can actually fly this ship myself, like in No Man's Sky. <laughs> but you can't. Okay, star map. 
Yeah, we've done that. Okay, cool. Um, back to the system. Uh, okay, select mission. Try reading. Toggle which quest is tracked on your... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Okay, blue thing. Blue thing on, blue thing off. Okay. Oh, no, I want blue thing on, idiot. Okay. Show on map. Okay, jump. Yeah. This is the bit that I, you know, I, it's early days, okay? We've only just got the game working properly. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Ooh. Nice. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Whoa, I'm, I'm kind of excited. New Atlantis. I've heard some stuff about this place. What happens if we fire on these guys? Probably bad things. Let's not do that. So again, you know, like it, again, it's like a, a star map. Oh, it's just star stuff everywhere, and a planet, and there's loads of what look like oh yeah, loads of ships. So ob oh yeah, so obviously, New Atlantis is a busy place, but we can't get there. We've tried this. We tried this in part one. Check the video out. Check the idi oh out when we hadn't worked out about moving the, the install onto the SSD. Ho! Oh, this is so much better. So we worked out that it would take me like a billion boosts to get there. So we're going to go into um, Star Map, uh, New Atlantis, so a landing target. This is it. Like, I, I, I haven't even seen any screenshots or footage of this place so what's it gonna be like let's go this is kind of, oh this is kind of exciting shades of halo aesthetic in that in that image there don't you think with a thin thing oh great i'm great at landing I really want to be able to do this, Bethesda. It would be so cool. Okay, look, we're just going to get up. Because I want to walk out of my ship. I bet, I bet it doesn't even let me do that. Oh, it does. I'm walking out of my ship. Maybe I'll just stop here for a minute. Yeah, we'll do it in... Uh, Third person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm, oh, I'm running. Running, because I'm excited. I'm getting to the ladder. And I'm going to New Atlantis. This is the first location discovered notice we've had in this game. Ooh, red light. I'm walking. I'm walking. We're in third person. And... We're here. We've got a little bit of chop in the background there. A little bit of pop up. I think we need to optimize a bit more, but at least it's playable. Your memory is uncanny. Ah, stretch my legs in third person. Let's go and talk to this guy. This thing has seen better days, hasn't it? 
So uh, there we are. We 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 made it. We made it to New Atlantis. We did our first pirate pirate. We did our first pirate murders in our first mission, and there uh, we've arrived. I think this is like a safe haven. So it's uh, it's good night from Vasco, myself, and and Monument. We'll see you in part three. Dilbury out. Out in the stars. <laughs> <laughs>